Hello, my name is Manus McGuire and I'm going to chair this afternoon's uh, question and answer harp builders discussion, okay? And uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce the three uh, harp builders that are here, looking as I am over my, on my extreme right. Kevin Harrington. Kevin, you're very welcome. And thanks mm -hmm. to all of you indeed for helping sponsor the festival. So Kevin Harrington, then beside him, Tim from Killarney Harps, um, Tim O'Carroll and his wife Maura is here as well from Killarney Harps. And then on my left, I have Brian Callan from Callan Harps. So you're all very welcome and uh, welcome here to Tomb Graney and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the weekend as well. It's been going well so far. So um, i just like to open up the discussion as it were and I, I'd like this to be as informative as possible. People to get involved, interactive is what the word I used, should, should have used, interactive as possible. So feel, feel free to comment. It doesn't have to be a question. Okay, so a comment will be fine as well. But I'll kick the ball off, as it were, uh, kick the ball rolling by saying, I'll ask all three of you, maybe I'll start with you, Brian, if that's okay. How, do, how did you, and I'd probably ask you all the same question to begin with, how did you get involved in harp making in the first place? Yeah, uh, around 11 years ago, around this time 11 years ago, um, I got an idea of building a harp for a present. And it was my research that kind of lured me into it um, because I was looking to to get plans or to buy one for the present um, and I realised that it was kind of difficult to get information without going to to China and getting something abroad yeah. so there were very few harp makers in Ireland making so that's kind of what, what kind of intrigued that got, me that, that got you that involved got me started. in the yeah. yeah so um, it you, took probably, me, you probably would never have guessed that would be the starting of, of it all for no, you. No, I, I know. I assumed you could just walk into any music shop and you yeah. could, they'd be, they'd be uh, in abundance around, but that, that wasn't the case. Yeah. Um, and it being the national national embl emblem and instrument yeah. of, of the country. Our national instrument, yeah. Um, so I proceeded with, with doing up a, a, a drawing myself, um, mm. just taking measurements off, off the internet and, and roughly guessing yeah. and built my first harp. Then and you worked it from there. It kind of took off from there, yeah. Would you have any idea in the 11 years that have intervened roughly how many harps you've built? Yeah, 432. Wow. <laughs> 432? Yeah. That really surprises yeah. me. Yeah. No, I want to be clear, I didn't sell 432, <laughs> just in case the tax man is watching this. <laughs> Very important to mention that. I built 432. Built, yeah, quite, quite, quite a different thing. Um, how many functioned would be a little bit less than that. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, but a lot of that would have been in the trial, uh, trial yeah, starts sure. and a lot of them would have went to recycling. Yeah. And just before I go on to Tim with the same question, I'll ask you another one now. What wood do you use in general? I know it probably varies. And where is it sourced from? Yeah, you know, all my wood is, is native grown. It's, it's, it's some of its native wood, which would be ash. Um, and elm, um, yeah. but I have a walnut one here beside me, which was native grown, so it grew in Ireland, but walnut, walnut is not native to Ireland. Yeah. So 99% of the timber is, is native grown and it would be locally sourced. Okay. So it's all, all right. from in and around County, County Galway or not where too far. Where you're based now, yeah. Where yeah. I'm based, yeah, and it's all wind fallen, so I don't cut down any, any trees to, to make harps. Okay. We get a lot of strong winds in Galway, so you do. Yeah. we get a lot of trees down. So yeah, sure. I have uh, I have a good source of social people who yeah. contact me with trees down. Yeah, well, that's good. It's good yeah. to have that, that that contact base. Obviously, is very important for you. Yeah, that took a long time to, yeah. to, to kind of establish. Yeah. How about you, Tim? How long? How long? First of all, are you are you in in the harp building business? Uh, I suppose around two thousand and eight, two thousand and seven. Okay, I so. started. I started 14, experimenting years. with them as a hobby, more than anything yeah, else. Yeah. But um, we had a, a big joinery business in Killarney in 2008 it, with the recession and the rest. The, yes. Some of the developers we were dealing with, a few of them went to the wall, to the wall and they yeah. took me with them. So it, um, it sort of, you know, at the time it was like the end of the world because I mean, we had, I think, 40 employees at the time that were all thrown out of work along with myself and um, I suppose for, for the next following two years after that I, I started, well when I, when I said it was a hobby by me, it was a, I had a workshop at the back of the main workshop that was just a kind of a bolt hole to get out of the rat race if you like and uh, then I just sort of held tippy away with it and I went to my first 
half festival in Aber, and from that I didn't look back. So you took on a much more serious role then? Oh yeah, but I mean when I went to Aber with it and when the first half was sold, it was like, you know, here we are, it's yeah, great. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah. it was actually a woman from Clare that bought the first harp. Really? Yeah, from Ennis. Yeah. But um, after that, then I've been making them since. Fantastic. And, and, the, uh, and the second question that I asked Brian about the wood that you use? Well, I, I don't use native wood. I use all imported wood. I use American hardwoods. American hardwoods. Uh, yeah, okay. I just, just, that's the way it fell. Yeah, and I just, don't. Yeah, yeah. And um, you're happy with that, yeah. 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 And have you, have you found that you've changed the wood over the years in the intervening? No, no, I've stayed, there, there's three. You're three, happy with what you're doing now? Yeah, I have, like that, the walnut, the American walnut, yeah. cherry and mahogany would be the three most popular yeah. that I'd be using. Of course, and you have ash and you have the trimmings with the yeah, ash and yeah, the maple yeah. and the rest like that. And would you, would you happen to know, I'm sure you do, Tim, where in the US most of the, the, your wood that you're getting is from? I don't really. All over? <laughs> yeah, all over, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Oregon, I suppose, in, in the main to be around the Oregon area. Yes, I was thinking yeah, that. Yeah. West Coast, or yeah, towards yeah. the West Coast. Oregon, I would have thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, same for you. I mean, when, how, long are you, how, how long are you getting in, the, in this business? Um, <clears throat> well, I've, I, was a harp, or I was a violin maker originally, actually. Okay, in So Cork. I kind of got into it. Well, I, I was over in England. Okay. And um, I got into making harps um, in 2017, I think it was, when I made my first one. Oh, very much yeah. more recently than the two lads. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, that just came about. Um, kind of having a conversation with someone, his daughter was playing the harp. Yeah. And, um, I kind of just, just kind of piqued my curiosity, really, and I started looking into it, and I f decided I'd try to make one, basically, and I found a set of plans online. Um, f there's a fella in Washington, very good harp maker, Rick Kemper, who sells plans, you know. And in I the was, state of Washington? Or in sorry, DC. Washington, D.C. Oh, D.C., yeah. Yeah, so I went over, um, or I, I was emailing him over and back, you know, I got the set of plans yeah. and I made a harp, and we, we kind of kept in touch, and he invited me over, and I ended up, going over to him, making a few harps with him. And I came back and do you know, like the first harp that I made, it just, I absolutely fell in love with yeah. the instrument. Like, yeah. yeah, like if I never made another violin again after that, I knew that I'd be happy out, like if I could just yeah. earn my living making harps. And yeah, I just haven't really looked back. And over the last few years, my business has gone from kind of the violin family of instruments, you will say, to, to harps now, like yeah. pretty much harps. It's all harps now. 100%. Yeah. Just as a matter of interest, because I'm a fiddle player myself, when you were making the violins, fiddles, did you do some violas as well or just fiddle? I did violins and double basses actually. Oh, double bass? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they were the kind of the two. I ended up kind of specialising in double bass work as well. Really? Yeah, at the last workshop I worked in, in London were double bass double specialists, bass. you know, so. But now it's all harp. It's all harps all the way. Taken over, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and one of the things I like about them as well, with the violin work, it's nearly all repair and restoration work. Yeah. There's very little actual making, making the them, instrument yeah. from scratch, but with, with harp, it's the, the, other, the, the other opposite way around, you know, yeah, and yeah, I, I'm yeah. much happier with that. Too. Very good, very good. Yeah. And uh, I'd imagine the answer to this is fairly straightforward. The choice of wood affecting the sound of the harp, I'd imagine the answer has to be yes. What would you using will affect the sound? But yeah. what do you think about that? Brian? Oh, it definitely does. Absolutely, yeah. 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 You could have you could have three identical identical harps in different timbers, and yeah. uh, they each have their own their own personality, their own tone, their own sound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's 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 quite staggering now, really. Yeah. Yeah. When, you, when you hear it. But there's a definite sound from, the, from oh, a particular it's, it's, wood. It is, it's would amazing. you all agree with that? No, yeah. Do you all feel the same? Mm -hmm. I would have thought so. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a favourite? I was going to ask that. You can, yeah, yeah. My, my preference would be you or uh, Sally Wood. Okay. Um, and, that, and that's a, my preference. If I could just go on further from that, why, why is a matter of interest? Um, I don't know, it, it, there's something, well, for me, there's something magical about the timber. The, the timber is, it's very difficult to get anyway. Yeah. So uh, you is, you is quite poisonous to work with. So it's, it's not, it's, yeah. it's not great to be working with not it. For you know? yeah, it's yeah. not, um, but it, it is worth it when you make it so from you it. you are Sally Wood? You are Sally. Sally's a, 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 from the family of Willow. Um, gorgeous stone, but again, very difficult to get large quantities yeah. of, of yeah. Sally Wood. And yeah. that, that would be, that would be my favourite. That would be your favourite, yeah. How about you, Tim? 
Do you, would you have a particular favourite wood? Yeah, I mean, okay, either the uh, either the cher the cherry or the walnut. They, yeah. they say, you know, I'm only going by what they say. What I've what what they, what, what they as in harp teachers and harp would 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 feel that uh, that the cherry resonates the best. No, yeah. I don't play the harp. So I know I that's what you're being told. Yeah, that's what I've been told. And Kevin, you know, pretty much the same as Tim. Actually, like a lot of it the is. Cherry. Uh, cherry and walnut is, are the two that I've settled on, like, and uh, that's mainly based on feedback from players, you know. From players, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the two. Okay. I wouldn't well, have a favourite between the two, though, because they behave quite uniquely, you know, yeah, yeah. and I think it kind of depends on what the player actually yeah. wants and how the player will be using okay. the harp, like. Well, just, just on that now, before I, uh, I, 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 before I bring in other people to talk and maybe to comment, I'll ask one of, what for me, who for me, not what, who for me is one of the top harpists in the world and she's sitting here right beside me. And, and, she's, and she's from, she's based in Glasgow now in Scotland. And to, to me, she's absolutely incredible player. And her name is, all of you will know her name is Katrina Mackay. Just on that, so I'm gonna ask Katrina, um, you all mentioned the woods that you find that work best for you, that, that you're being told by the harpist. So let's hear it from the harpist. Okay. Yeah. I'll ask. What, Katrina, You're putting her you? in the spot now. <laughs> no, no, I'm not putting her on. I don't mean to put her on the spot. It's the last thing I want to do. But, and I know you know that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think, Katrina? Well, I was already thinking um, when I was listening um, to the guys. Yeah. To your question, and I think for me, my kind of perspective is that I wouldn't choose a preference because I believe that when an instrument is made, it's the beginning of its life. And then the journey is how, how you respond to that instrument and, and, and the playing of it, how that instrument develops. So that's all the unknown. So I think um, for me it's just like a, a little bit of intuition that you feel you connect with that instrument and then the rest is unknown and that's, that's where yeah. you kind of take it. So I wouldn't say I had a favourite, but it's just that little, if you connect to something and then and go, go and with it. it and then anything is possible. That's what I, I, that's what I find exciting. Yeah. So it's, it's the instrument is made and that's, you know, you've done your bit and you've brought it here. Yeah. And then, then the rest of its journey is how that player connects. Because when you're playing an instrument, it takes a long time to connect with an instrument and then learn what that instrument's telling you and how you then respond to that and then that work, take basically. that forward. Yeah. So it's a long old all of it. And, and <laughs> I, I suppose I'd be right in saying it's a very personal thing too, like the way you connect yeah. with an instrument. Yeah, it is very, very. So what, yeah. what, the old story of how to suit one person may not suit another. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. again, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. 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 Well, the, 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 there's kind of three type of tones. You, you, you have bright, you have mellow, and then you have the in between. Um, yeah. And that probably goes with what Tim and Kevin were saying, maybe with the, the cherry is the in between. Yeah. It's not overly bright and it's not overly mellow. The, the walnut's very soft and mellow. Yeah. The ash, the sycamore, the maple, very, very bright, very bingy, very loud. And then the in-between would be the cherry, the alder, the yew, the beech. Okay. So there would be kind of the guidelines. Very good kind of, yeah, okay, yeah. very good. At this stage, is there anybody else who'd like to either ask a question or make a comment? Feel free. Yeah, I'm wondering what kind of strings do you put on your harps? I think we all use our carbon fibre, do we? Carbon fibre, yeah. Yeah, we don't carbon choose fibre. that. Carbon fibre, yeah. And, and why do you choose that rather than, say, gut strings? Well, the gut is something that's very specific um, to the player. Like, some players love gut, um, and, and that's all they want, and that's absolutely fine. Um, they're a bit more problematic and like it's an organic material so it can be, um, it needs a lot more care, you know, and they tend to snap a bit more. Um, but yeah, some players just absolutely swear by it and, and they don't mind going to the extra hassle. Uh, like really, it's, it just kind of comes down to, it's almost become the, the standard really, the carbon fibre. Standard know, in is, Ireland anyway in Ireland, for the trad yeah. music. I think at, uh, th 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 in Scotland it would be more gut, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's more yeah. gut shit. Um, it's just yeah. whatever way it has sort of evolved over there as compared to here. Like Wales yeah. would be more gut as well, but right? yeah. with the, with the Irish music, the trad music, it seems to people work, have, work people best. have said it the the the, the carbon sound sounds a little bit more like the the old wire 
No, yeah, I don't know okay. whether that's true or false. I don't know. So the carbon fiber, the carbon fiber here, okay, more than with you. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't have known that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like okay. carbon fiber is, like the nylon is heavy, is a heavier string, thicker yeah. string, the carbon fiber, uh, and then with the gut, it's, it's a heavy enough string as well, isn't it? But it's it's a higher tension as well. It's harder on the fingers playing the gut. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. just very different. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Thanks for that. Sorry. <laughs> should you ask else? this question? We should, question? Be, we should be facing you. No, no, it's okay. Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Does the the shape of the harp uh, affect the sound, or is it just an aesthetic thing? Somebody was asking yeah, that Brian earlier, again. what do you think? Brian would be more. <laughs> uh, I, would imagine, it's, I would imagine. It's just, it's dull, just, it's just uh, purely aesthetics. That's, you know, yeah. The string length is your vibration length. Yeah. So that's the only thing that will affect. So if my bass strings are slightly shorter than Tim's, which they are, so I'm going to have less vibration on my bass. Yeah. And then that's, that's a style some people like, like that, they like, the, like the longer vibration, some people dampen more, some people don't like the vibration at all. So yeah. it's purely, purely aesthetic. Pure aesthetic yeah. You have the harmonic curve, do you know, it technically could, it, it could be straight, it, it doesn't yeah. have to, you know, but what yeah. it does, the, cor the, the curve here just shortens the strings here yeah. towards the treble, just yeah. to, to keep, it, keep the range, the octaves. Yeah, well Brian, just on that, the, the, just, we said the hardware of the instrument itself. Yeah. Do you want to... Do you want to discuss that as, as to what you think the, the relevance of it is? And, and not just the relevance, but the, 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 how, how it works best? Like, would you have any yeah, opinions on that? Not, well, opinion, opinion on the price of them. The <laughs> price of the hardware is, is yeah. yeah, that's, that's you know, people say, why, why are harps so, so expensive? You know, you're, you have nearly over a thousand euros worth of hardware on, yeah. on the instrument. People, you know, they don't realise that. Yeah, you know, like the, the wood is is the, is the cheaper part of yeah. of that. It's, it's the hardware all, is what really. It's yeah. it's the hardware, yeah. That's that, that really adds up. That yeah. that, that adds, adds up the price. Um, yeah, the, you know, the, the tuning the tuning pins all do do the same thing. They just they hold the string in place. They're, they're they act like as a wedge. They're tapered from wide to narrow, and they, so they just lock into themselves on the, on their tension. Um, then you have you have bridge pins, which um, keep the strings out a certain distance from from the harp neck, which correlate then with the levers to, for the levers to, to set the semitone. That when the levers engage, that it hits the semitone of the harp. It it, it yeah. brings it up an octave or, or yeah. brings it down half an a half an octave. Thank you. He's right. <laughs> um, yeah. You'd, all, you'd agree with that, lads, yeah? Yeah. Same with you. I think there's no doubt that in the last, we would say, 15, 20 years in Ireland, the, the harp players, uh, there's so many, number, there's, number one, there's so many more harp players than there were, and that the level of musicianship has gone right up. I think you'd all agree with that. It had been a little bit in the doldrums, didn't it? Like a lot of musical instruments in Ireland, but it has really taken off again. And that's fantastic, because as one of you mentioned, it's our national instrument. Yeah. So, we're the, I was saying to somebody last night, I think we're the only country in the world that has a musical instrument on our coinage. There are some countries in South America, Colombia is one of them, where there's a musical instrument on their notes, yeah. but on their coins, we're the only one. Mm -hmm. And that was King Henry that, that, that coined that yeah. in 15, 15, 30 something, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's something we're very proud of as Irish people, of course. Yeah, but it took, uh, an, Eng took an English man to put it on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We better keep. We, yeah. we better watch that one. Right? I know. Yeah. The politics. Get, get, get political here. <laughs> it's true. But uh, so what, what I was yeah. saying there is that there are so many really, really top class players now. So when you go around to harp festivals, you must be you must be aware, at, 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 certainly at some level, of the the huge renewed interest in harp. Would I not be right in saying oh, that? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah sure, I mean, like sure. sure. Everywhere you go now, you yeah. must be seeing more numbers. Oh, there is, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, the biggest problem was, was harp teachers for years, and I mean, it's mushrooming out all the time now. I mean, when I started first going to different festivals, most of those students now, any of them that are, went on, they're, they in turn are teaching it, and that's, yeah. and their stu even their students' students Teaching. Are, you know, students, students are teaching, are beginning to take, just do smaller, or, you know, just yeah. basic lessons with, 
with the next generation again. So, yeah. I mean, the, so, like the, that, that was the biggest problem, I think. The lack of teachers. The lack of teachers. And in fair court and the crew, they took it on, didn't they? You'll, you'll, get, you'll be more aware of it than I will. Yeah. Sorry, but, uh, they, I mean, it had, they, it had nearly gone. And they, a group of group got together with Court of the Crew to, 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 to sort of ensure that this thing was reversed, this, this trend was reversed. And yeah. Now, how many years ago is, I don't know. I'm, like, okay. all, the, all the history of it and the type of harp we're making at the moment, as against from the old Irish harp, that is for the likes of Katrina, that would be, you know, that would be sort of involved with the harp all the time. Like, for me, it's making the harp and the timber. Yeah. That's my that's my that's expertise, not on the the history, you know, of all yeah. of that. But um Go on. You know. Yes. And as a consequence of the feeling over, and there's now a whole lot over there purely because adults that didn't get the chance as a child. Oh, yeah. Exactly as you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Just it wasn't available. It wasn't available, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I know. The things like the club now. Yeah. And it's so, it's like that, it's so easy, it, it's so nice to the, the year even take it up from day one. We, the, I, I know of a woman in Castletown Bear that took, that started taking lessons at 92. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, I mean, it's never too late. Yeah. 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 So. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it just wasn't accessible. It wasn't, it was never an option. It was like, you know. And I suppose as well, then, with, with the likes of, uh, of the, uh, what's her name? Martin Buckley, um, what's her, in, 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 in Port Leash. The Siobhan. Siobhan Buckley, Siobhan. and yeah. the, uh, the, the um, what's that, the music generation. Music generation. That, has, that has made a fierce difference. Now, there's music generation in most counties, but, like, Siobhan seems to have brought it on totally. Siobhan yeah. and her... There's also it in, in leash. Oh yeah, but apparently but, uh, the numbers are huge. I'm yeah, here. they're huge there, but um, the likes it. of those things, those initiatives, yeah, and grants that are available, and there are a lot of grants available if people only knew about them. Yeah, that's and the, go after them to get started. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, all those things, everything helps. Yeah. Is the music generation, Tim? Do you know? I know it's not in all counties. Do you, would you would you happen to know? Are there many of the counties that have it? Well, I know it's in Kerry, but I was only told today it's in, it's in most counties, but yeah. very few are really have but taken it to the level that she has. That she had, that they have, yeah. yeah. By all yeah. accounts, yeah, by all accounts. Yeah. Yes. That's good to know. So that's what you saying to me, that's right. And in Scotland, uh, music is funded quite heavily in the schools. I don't know if that's not so long. Well, well I'm, I'm not, it's I'm, not here. It's uh, not well, certainly, Katrina and I were talking about this last night. That we were talking about film music, but music in general in Scotland is, and up in Shetland, uh, it's very much a central part of the education. It's right in the middle. Mm. It's a big, big part of in Ireland up to, you know, I know we're getting better at it now, but up to relatively recently, it was just an hour after school. There's a music teacher, there's, there's a teacher in the school who likes music who'll give you an hour yeah. between three and four. Kind of like an afterthought. Now we're getting better in that regard. But in Scotland, that was, uh, as far as I'm aware, it, uh, it was very much a central part of the country. Katrina, that's a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I am a music teacher in the sense. Okay. Yeah. There was no one whatsoever to have any music outside of ours. 
needs to adjust up, not no facilities. So it is very difficult in our schools. I actually mm. said up to a whole bunch because of that. Yeah. And, and do you think Anya is a changing? Uh, no. Oh, I thought so. The has taken over the world. Yeah. And uh, you see, some, uh, you know, like we're going to get parks for a school, unless we're in this generation, we've matched funding, the councils are behind it. I mean, I know in Waterford, I think they're getting like 84 grand, and it's matched funding. And how can a school complete? You, know, you can't, you know, so, so I suppose the good thing is to in this generation, you know, it's what kind of, but it's sad that it's not in the school system. And they've allowed that over the community side as, uh, you know, more people picking up music in the West. Yeah. It's all quite cheap and strange for us, but it's very cheap lately. Yeah, yeah. And that will... Because only Nia Flanagan there, ten or fifteen years ago, she she brought over, she got she bought nine or ten of the small, cheap American, what were they? You could, uh, the harps, the harps, yes. yeah. yeah and and she used those, and you were making something similar as well. But she, but she better. Used, but better, all right, okay. But she, she, uh, <laughs> she had those in schools, or in one school in particular, and... Um, the school funded, I'd say, did they? I'd say it was maybe her, the school probably funded to an extent, but they were probably paying a euro a lesson, do you know that kind of way? It was nothing, yeah. and she, like she she did the she did the whole school, but it was found that at, at the end of two years, like the students adapted better to their lessons, adapted better to they were cooler, they were calmer, everything that all, and then I don't know, Una sort of left it, didn't did she? That's a bit much for her trying to do everything, you know. No, she, she took a career 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 path break, yeah. uh, break, and she's on a different direction now. Yeah, she's yeah, but it worked out, and that was they were cheap instruments. In weren't the generation they are going into the schools. Hmm? Yeah. You know, and they, again, they have the funding. You know. They have, but it takes someone, you know, it's all right. Because I know that we were just, like I said, I just heard this morning, there's music generation in Kerry. I haven't heard of one person from it there. Um, someone else said there's a music generation in, in Clare or somewhere, and there's 20 halves locked up in a press. Do you know, it takes someone as well to kind of catch it by the scruff of the neck and, and move, move it. Around. But then that's down to one person again. And, yeah. you know, Everyone. they can't keep it up forever. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Well, I know that, uh, Katrina, you, you enjoyed, I think you were saying, was it last year or the year before? No, it wasn't even last year. A couple of years ago that you came over and on that music generation, which of all? Did you ground last school for any singer? Or maybe that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you enjoyed that and that was good. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see that. So hopefully the music, yeah, the music generation kicks off. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go and bring in people like Katrina and people who are playing at her at such and such a high level to make people, number one, more aware, and secondly, to bring up the whole standard of musicianship, you know? Because so that's what you want. The other thing that's small about the scientists is that when we go to secondary schools, it's the only thing. I am in secondary school teachers. You know, the music generation are in primary schools as far as I'm in our area. Or is it only primary, is it? Yeah, primary only. Okay. So what happens when you go to secondary and secondary again? Yeah. And then what happens when you go to secondary and that's the part of the world of life really. You want to lose them. Yeah. 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 And it's not even for us to go to. And this generation is doing such a fantastic job. We need to get senior generation of some sort. So a follow through. follow through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is there anybody else that wants to ask a question or, yeah. or make or make any comment? Oh, I was just Ordered. interested in um, kind of old style arts used to be quite chunky, like the pieces of furniture with the legs and stuff. And then there was kind of demand to make hearts lighter and lighter and lighter. Do you have kind of a baseline where you kind of got, can't make them any larger because you're just not going to get a good quality instrument, or can you, you know, I I, I guess the heart, the three hearts that you have here. Are, 
There's a guy. There's a there's a guy. There's a guy in America. But I, I think, don't think he's doing it anymore. But he was making carbon fibre harps, and you could, if you um, the sound, there's a very bright sound from them. But you could, you could, if if you were outside the door there and there was any bit of a breeze blowing, the thing okay. would blow away to saw light. Yeah, light. Like, so yeah, I mean, that's the idea. Try and get them lighter. Like, isn't it, Brian? Or, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just like just for trying. No, there's a bit it depends of... on the wood, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the wood density, the, wood, the weight of the wood itself, you know, so for example, ash is, is, is quite dense and heavy, and so is beech, so you're not going to, if they want it like that, them and the timbers, you'd be trying to persuade them away from, you know, so if they like that tone, you're kind of in trouble, because now you're trying to make that type of wood lighter, so... Whereas the walnut, it, it, they're, they're, it's a bit lighter than native, native growing water, walnut is anyway. And cherry's not very heavy either. But you are kind of always challenged to keep them because they are portable, you know, that's, yeah. Um, it's, it's a balance, like, you know, you, you, for, for myself anyway, when I'm looking at my harps, I always want to take away as much wood as I can, but it still needs to be structurally sound. Do you know, like... You, you don't want it exploding, <laughs> you know, there's so much tension on the It can happen, like, and it can happen. Yeah, so, like, it's, yeah, yeah. Do you know, it's, uh, uh, some of the old harps, they had, like, um, big cast iron braces and stuff inside, you know. Um, yeah, way an absolute ton. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it really is a balance. Like, it's almost like designing a bridge, you know, you kind of, you don't want any, any excess there. You know, you just want it, but it needs to be, Stable, like it needs to be structurally stable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're into quite big cases there, then, though, you know. Yeah, but uh, just the, the, what I would be afraid of is that. Like if you're bringing a harp case along like a, an uneven road or something like that, or a footpath with potholes and stuff like that, all the vibrations, you know, they're getting transferred directly to the harp, like, and you just you really don't want to stress them too much, you know. Could, um, you, could you use mixed materials? Could you use the sound, the sound panel for, let's say, timber, and then could you make, make the rest of it larger? You could. I mean, that's kind of what I'm trying to do with wood, to be honest. Like... Um, I don't know how you how I could make mu it much lighter than it is, apart from using you, you know synthetic materials. Would be, might be, might be heavier because it is into the you still need the timber Yeah, like, you still need the strength, like if you're getting something light, it's the least. But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a lot of forces that play, even the bend in the pillar, you know, like it needs, just needs to stay upright. You see all these Irish harps and the pillar is completely bent over, like over time. Because it's, it's pulling down on the side of the whole thing. So it's, uh, it's, all, it's all balanced, really, you know, it's tricky, like. What's the best way to load your harp into a car? Like, is it okay to have it flat? And you know the back seat is kind of like this, and so you have the, the neck of the harp kind of taking maybe some of the pressure, or is it better to put it on it, on the side of the box? Uh, I kind of have to see it, really. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Once you, once, you, once you don't have anything resting on the levers, once yeah. you don't have the levers resting, keep the levers, so you, you should be okay. Yeah. I think. Should you see people that are... Yeah. Once there's no children they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we're only after getting a, what you call it, uh, a harp, we sent a harp to to Canada there last week. It was supposed to be delivered there in a week. It took three weeks. But when she opened it, someone must have driven a forklift through the box or something. Oh but trying to, you know, like that, and it, and it looks like it, it. And it was very well padded, but it must yeah. have fallen from a height. Yeah. But um, so she wasn't know, too pleased. Hmm? She wasn't too pleased. No, she's not happy camper at all. Well, look, she's okay about it. She's going yeah, to, yeah, yeah. it's going to have to be replaced, but, and yeah. it was insured, but it's just the hassle and the grief of all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So a lot of extra work. Um, but like that, and the, well, why I brought that up is just it. Whatever fall it gave, this you know the whole thing disintegrated. It had a, had to have a fair bang for that. Yeah, it must have. And like that, in a car, in the back of a car, you, I don't think you'll get a bang like that anyway. Yeah. So, that's it. I was going to ask all three of you as well. We'll, we'll probably finish up now very soon. Have you found yourselves experiment, experimenting much with the design over the years, like that you're getting different ideas about designs? Or like yeah, it, well, initially it's when, when it started, yeah, the first few years you're kind of chopping and yeah. changing and just... Trying to find your niche. Yeah, just tweak, tweaking. The, the first yeah. harper I had was a high-headed and not many people could get them into cars. The cars just they wouldn't fit. Yeah. So that's why I came up with this shape. I, you squashed everything in, so when you pull everything in, your string lengths and... Yeah. So you, you kind of stay to that. You, you can't keep chopping and changing. Someone might come in and go, well, yeah. well could I have it a different shape? And you, yeah. you end up with 100 hemp, templates around your workshop. Yeah. You know, so you kind of you have to fix. You have to fix on one. Yeah, fix. Well, yeah, I've, one I've of three models and three. Okay. You, you kind of and you stick with it. Yeah, well, they've been fine tuned over the years, and then yeah. you, you kind of yeah. stick with that then when it works. Yeah. yeah. So. How about you, Tim? Do you feel the same? Uh, it's the same. I, I kept yeah. kept. I mean, for years of just chopping and changing a small bit, but once you get to the to the one that you to like. the one that you like, because every time you change, if you change the shape a bit, you're changing the string. The type, the the the, yeah. the 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 gauge of the string, and that's fine until five years down the road. Mrs. Murphy rings for a spare string of second octave B or whatever it is like that, and you say, which yeah. harp did she get or whatever? So, I mean, it's for that reason I have the same shape now for yeah. the last oh, eight years, okay, yeah, and sure. I've kept with it. Yeah, and Kevin? Uh, yeah, I, I've kept the the string band, so like the the spacing and the length of the strings, <clears throat> I've, I've kept them pretty much consistent since I, uh, from, from what I learnt off Rick Kemper that time. Everything else I've, 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 I've tweaked over the years, like, and I still do little tweaks. I can't help yeah. myself really, you know. <laughs> I, I should settle down, you know, but... Um, but by, but by and large, you're, you're, you're fairly yeah, happy it's, with... Yeah, it's probably like 98% yeah. there now. That's like probably and, as close as you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There'll be little changes over the years, yeah, but yeah. I'm quite happy with it, it is yeah. as, as it is at the moment, you know. Anne-Marie O'Farrell came in a little while ago. Anne-Marie, is there any... You no, know, you're welcome, Anne-Marie. We've been chatting about the sound and the wood and different things, but I just wonder, is there anything that you wanted to ask the lads or maybe not necessarily ask a question, a comment? Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I'm related to believers and yeah. putting anything into production is a phenomenal undertaking and a very costly one. But what would the chances be of any of you considering covering your levers in a silicone, some kind of silicone cap or uh, Why? over the handle of the lever where, where you're touching it? Why? Why to increase grip at speed? All right. Um, I find well, it's just something, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. There's something now for you that's to be thinking about. Yeah. But you find you find that with the with the self believer as well. So yeah, I have, I have silicone caps on them. All right. Okay. Um, I find it really helps. Okay. Uh, so the ease of grip is what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, to watch you playing anyway, we're even up and down like a yeah. thousand miles an hour. Yeah. 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 But I've seen people do super fast stuff with kind of levers. Yes. Um, but just the multiple changes are, are harder. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, sorry, I can always trust me to stroke. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're making the guys think about, well, maybe I'm wrong, but I think they do. But, but I, I, I know, like, you know, making any kind of substantial change or putting something into production is a, a huge sort of undertaking. But just wondered if silicone cap, some kind of silicone covering, yeah. could be more realistic than a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, is there, is there an aftermarket product or something like that that you could just... Is there just, a... Like an aftermarket product that, that could just be applied, you know, to an aftermarket brand. product, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it wouldn't be a, a huge... Well, it's the manufacturer would have to do it anyway, I suppose. They'd have to come from Camac, and yeah. I don't know about the lads, but I, I know myself, I know that, like, they're yeah. great, but they're French, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. But I, I know, but I mean, like, that's a, I mean, don't get me wrong, but that's great, but it's, 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 it, this is what we do and that's it. Yeah. yeah. I did run the idea by Jacques a while back and he was, he was open to it. 
Yeah, but he would be, but he's gone from it now, nearly sure, anyway. Yeah. He's only a figurehead now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Apologies to all the French people here, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, my daughter used to build, uh, you, know, you know, climbers, rock climbers, chalk mm. on, on the tips of her fingers. Mm. Too. So that she's getting just to get kind of grip on those things. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would. Oh. You know, that's something I had. You wouldn't think of, but but see, those are the type of things. Listening to players. Yeah, that you'll hear about. That you that you can you could uh, that that's feedback. To you, and it's, yeah. it's only small things. If it's just yeah. sort of that they if they, if they felt that maybe there could be a brighter sound in some part of the harp, or maybe you could change the string. Like Cormac to Bar, I know the last day, yeah. Cormac kind of suggested maybe that having a different maybe a, even with the cap with strings to mix a good string here and there or wherever it was like or in the top section. Yeah. But it's yeah. things like that yeah. that we need to hear. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the benefit of having it. And it's kind of constructive, that's constructive yeah. criticism, if you yeah, like, but you need to hear that. that. Yeah. I think it's an amazing triangle between the player, the repertoire, and the maker. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm always looking for a scenario where I can improve what I'm doing. Yes. Um, do more, and that's the thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah